Got number one here. Duke. You want to hang it to where when they fall off, they can't reach this the base tree and their heads aren't touching the ground. If they can touch the ground, the bulls will come in there and chew them up. And if they can touch the tree, they'll climb it and they'll stay alive. And they'll tear themselves up and they'll get sap on the on the fur and everything. So about like that is how you want it. Tuck it in, kind of neat. You don't want your wire on top because the Martin are walking up here. And if they feel any kind of metal or whatever, they'll jump. You don't want them doing that. So, got another wire here. You set your trap, kind of just let it hang. You want to make sure your pan is loose. If it's, if it's tight at all, it'll tighten up in the cold. The temperature's warming and thawing. So there, it's set. You want to kind of hair trigger it about like that. And then you don't want your spring pointed down because just like with the wire, when the spring's pointed down, when they feel that metal, they'll jump. And the tie down wire, you just kind of want to give it about like that, just a half twist, so that when they do get caught, they'll knock that off and then that way they hang and they perspire a lot faster. Put your bait here, kind of wired onto the end of the pole. Kind of tight, because the birds will come in here and mess with it. And you want it to last. So, you get a little lure. We're using Gusto, which is a uh, skunk gland based lure. You try to keep that off your hands. To do that, what I do is I just grab a twig, any twig, kind of just dip it. Oh yeah, smells just like skunk. You kind of just tuck that in there. And the wind will come by and hit that. And the Martin will follow that in. The bait doesn't really have any smell because it's just meat. It's just uh, scrap meat from a, a beef we butchered this fall. And it doesn't really have much scent to it when it's cold and frozen out here so that's why you bring this lure because the wind will carry that down the valley the martin they run these ridges and as they run these ridges they'll smell that lure they'll come to investigate and as they get closer then they smell the meat or they'll see the eye appeal which i'm about to hang right now which normally you can use anything you can use an old cd uh ribbon market uh flagging tape uh in this case, I found a beer can along the trail. Somebody dropped, and I was just picking up trash. So I've got this beer can that I'm going to wire up there, and it's just going to hang and uh, create an eye appeal in case the lure doesn't work that well or just Martin's come by and they'll see the beer can hanging there. And they're curious, so they'll come by to check it out. Martin are a lot like cats. They're real curious. And anything moving will get their attention. 
So as the wind blows this beer can around, you're gonna see that and they'll hear, you can hear it, you can hear it ticking. You'll hear that and they'll come in here to investigate. And that's it. That's a Martin set.